Over the span of just two days, the world got a glimpse at just how amazing this 2022 season is going to be. In just 48 short hours, we saw a new world junior record go down in the men's 100, we saw a new world junior record in the men's 200 meters, we saw Trayvon Bromel drop a season opener of 9.75 in the men's 100, we saw a Thing Mo just barely miss the women's 600 meter world record, hitting a time of 1 minute 22.74 seconds, and we also saw Noah Lyles make a very impressive 200 meter debut, running a time of 19.86 seconds. Things are getting out of control right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. These world-class times are coming in so fast that I can't even keep up with them. So if you wanna take a look at many great races that went down this past weekend, make sure to check out Track Blockstar's YouTube channel. These guys have a lot of great content and you can find the links to these channels down below. In terms of world-class performances, this past weekend really brought the smoke. I mean, it was fire on the track. But there was also one athlete that we still have yet to talk about who didn't just achieve one great performance, she achieved two, and she did this over the course of just one hour. At the 2022 Gaborone International Meet in Botswana, we saw many great times achieved on this track. In fact, this was the exact location where Letsile Tabogo broke the world junior record in the men's 100. But over in the women's 100 and in the women's 200 meters, one athlete would reign supreme. For this 100 meter dash, we saw Christine Mboma run away with a convincing win, hitting the line first in 10.97 seconds. Now, this was Mboma's first ever time running under the 11 second barrier, and this time also broke the Botswana national record by quite a significant margin. This time now places her as the 8th fastest female athlete in the world this year, and you can see pretty clearly that Mboma dominated the second half of this race. This kind of top end speed is quite the racing asset when it comes to the 100 meters, but it's even more useful when competing in the 200. Just one hour after breaking the national record in the 100 meters, Mboma returned to the track to compete in the Open 200. Now, the world lead currently stands at 21.96 seconds, set by the fantastic LSU sprinter Favor Ophelia. But with an amazing turn and once again unmatched top end speed, Mboma ran away with a new world leading time of 21.87 seconds, which places her well ahead of Ophelia's previous world leading time. In just 60 minutes, Mboma has proven that her 2022 racing campaign could be pretty epic, as she's now achieved a big PB in the 100, and she's once again run a world leading time in the 200 meters. Last year, we saw Mboma rise to the very top of the athletics world, winning an Olympic silver in Tokyo with a time of 21.81 seconds. But this wasn't even her fastest time last year, as she achieved a mark of 21.78 at last year's Zurich Diamond League meeting. Along with Trayvon Bromel, Arian Knighton, and honestly pretty much every other athlete in track and field this season, Mboma has started her 2022 with a bang. And if she can improve this year like she did in 2021, expect many more records to go down by Christine Mboma. And now I'll pass the question off to you. How fast do you think Mboma will run in 2022? And does she have a chance at winning a world championship medal at this year's Eugene World Championships? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.